guys, what's up? It's Nikayla and I am back with another video. So as you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be my Disney audition experience video. Because in my last video, I asked you guys to vote on what type of video you would like to see from me next. And this video and the Q&A video got the same amount of votes. So for this week's video, as you can probably tell, I'm going to be doing um, the Disney audition experience. And next week, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So, for this video, comment down below some questions um, that you want me to answer in next week's video. And also, you can ask me some questions on Snapchat because I will be answering questions from there too. And my Snapchat will be like on the screen somewhere, but it will definitely be in the description box down below. And also, I want to say a huge thank you for 108 subscribers. Like, <gasps> that is crazy. Thank you guys so much. You are awesome. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Here's how like it all started. Okay, so one day like my mom was on Facebook, good old Facebook, and she was scrolling through her um, home feed, like their feed, and she th she came across an ad that was like, "Does your child want to be a star?" Blah blah. blah. You know how those ads go. And then so my mom's like, "Nikayla," and I was like, "Yeah." And it's like I run in the um, room. She's like, look at this ad. And I was like, oh my gosh. It's like an audition for Disney Channel. And it was like, it was in Charleston, South Carolina. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go. So I was like, call a number, call a number. Because there's a number. She calls a number and then like this lady answers. And um, I tell her my name and a little bit about myself and stuff. And then she gave me like an audition time for like when to go. And... We just got it all set up. Okay, so the audition was May 14th, and so um, by the time we saw the ad, it was like like May 1st. So we had like a little while to wait. So May 14th comes rolling around, and I'm super excited. So my audition time was at 12 o'clock, I believe. I think it was 12. So me and my mom and my sister and my dad, we all jumped in the car and we um, drove to Charleston and. Charleston is like about two hours or an hour and 30 minutes away from where I live. So we drove to Charleston and it, the audition was held at a hotel convention center. We go to Charleston and we find the place and I'm super nervous because I had like no experience in like acting or anything because I took theater in like 6th and 7th grade but it wasn't like real theater. Cause I was too shy to like actually try out for a play or anything. So we finally get there and then there's this lady who's sitting at a table and then we go up to her and then she hands me a script and uh, mom has to fill out some paperwork like about me or whatever before we can go in and sit in the waiting room. So she hands me my script and my script was from the show Victorious uh, from Nickelodeon but um, it was really short. It was like I think I had like three lines. I had three lines. I didn't have to memorize it because, I mean, I just got it. So she handed me my script and then we walk into the waiting area where there was a lot of people. It was loud. People, I saw a lot of stage moms. This woman, she's, she's like, you, what are you doing? You need to be rehearsing. You see that girl? She's going to be a star. And what are you going to be? Nothing if you don't memorize this. And I'm just like. I'm going over um, the script with my mom and dad. It was really fun. It was like, it's a two-person script because like I had to play Tori and then someone played Andre. Um, so, so the CEO of like the person who was holding the auditions, Mr. Michael David Pallant, he walks in and the room's like quiet. He's like, hello everyone. And I'm just like so then he stopped talking and he's like okay so can we have this row and this row get up and go wait in line and good luck or whatever so he called my row so I was like one of the first people to go so I was just like oh my god waiting in line and we gave him the paperwork with our names and stuff and I still had my script in hand and then we walked <laughs> we walked in the room it's like another big room where like 50 or so people were sitting in there with their kids and so we all auditioned in front of each other which was kind of it was kind of um nerve-wracking i was kind of nervous so he called everyone um one by one it was super quick super quick he's like abby Susie, you know 
different names. And he's like, Nikayla. He's like, Nikayla. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So I had to walk up there. He was like, um, who are you going to be playing? And I was like, Tori. He was like, okay, action. I was doing it with a lady because she was playing Andre and I was playing Tori. So we were doing it back and forth. And then she was super like big and she's like, eh, eh, you know, something like that. So they're like, thank you. And then I sat back down. And then everybody else auditioned. And then, so after that, he was like, um, if we call your name, stay seated. Yeah. If we call your name, stay seated or whatever for me. And then he was like, Nikayla. I was like, oh. I was like, oh my gosh. But, and then, so he finished calling up names. And he's like, if I didn't call your name, you're free to go. Thank you for auditioning. Um, you know, whatever. Made it past the first round. And I was super excited. I was like, so since I made it past the first round, if you made it past the first round, you were given this booklet right here. It just says premiere on it. And it has Sky Jackson, Peyton List, Rowan Blanchard, um, Peyton Meyer, Jason Earls, and Joey Bragg. Those are just some of the celebrities that um, are a part of the premiere program or whatever. Um, so I was cleared for my second evaluation, which was going to be May 15th. Sunday came, and my audition was like at my audition was like at six o'clock, I think. It was like less people, way less people, um, and I think it was because I was one, I was part of one of the last audition groups. So for this audition, I got like a much longer script um it had like a few more lines and i had to play casey from casey undercover oh i like that show a lot and this time instead of auditioning with um one of his assistants i actually had to audition with him okay so after i acted with him i sat back down and then i saw everybody else and there were a lot of good kids like a lot of them they were really good after everyone auditioned they were like um they were calling everyone up one by one, and then if you made it, then they were like, congratulations, welcome to premiere. And if you didn't make it, they were like, um, we're sorry, you're not ready for our program. Um, come back next year, whatever. So they called my name, and I was just like, I don't know. I, I, I didn't know what to expect. So he called my name, and then he's like, congratulations, welcome to premiere. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I was like, yes. Uh. And then I was like, oh my gosh, just starting my acting career. I'm like, yeah. So after that, we were led into another room where we did the financial thing. And yes, we did have to pay money because um, in December, we're going to um, go to Orlando, Florida, um, Disney World, and stay at the Dolphin Resort because it, for a whole week. And it's filled with like acting classes and a big showcase where, cause like they invite like 100 um, agents and casting directors. Every four weeks until December, I'm going to be learning um, different comedic monologues and TV commercials and memorizing them, practicing them and performing them in front of an agent via FaceTime. Just basically getting me ready for December. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. And also remember to please comment down below some questions that you want me to answer in next week's video because it is going to be a QA. and a And if you don't really, if you don't want to comment any questions down below, you can DM me some questions on Snapchat and I will definitely answer those in next week's video. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you for 108 subscribers. That is crazy. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.